Welcome back to LearnWire. I've got something really, really cool and exciting to share with you today. Now, it's been a while since I have done anything with uh, JVZoo or Wire Plus. I don't usually share any products on the channel unless they are really, really good products. I've got something really fun and exciting to share with you today on this channel. I was gonna post this on another YouTube channel and everything would be just fine with that, but I didn't want you guys to miss out on this because this uh, particular product that I'm going to share with you in a minute about um, has everything to do with what you guys are interested in, which is ChatGBT, which is uh, using AI uh, content and so forth, right? So. I know there's been some buzz about GPTs. If we go over here to YouTube real quick, and then I just say, um, you know, chat G GPT, GPTs, uh, something like that, right? There's gonna be a lot of interest going on right here. 115,000 views right here on that one, 17,000 views right there. So introducing GPTs, uh, OpenAI had their own video, 200,000 views right there. So. Um, this GPT thing, I did not understand this at all until I went and picked up this product right over here. It's called Quantum AI. Now, this is from uh, some vendors on Warrior Plus that actually uh, produce really good products. This is an educational uh, type product that's going to teach you everything uh, that you need to know at least right now in the beginning about uh, using GPTs and how you can use it to your advantage. I didn't know anything about it, but then I just took this course and I went and built my own first GPT. And I could have went and maybe found some more information about um, GPTs, how to build them and so forth. But um, it's really nice to have somebody else uh, take you through it in an organized way. Um, and so I really like the way that these guys uh, put together this training so it's very organized. You'll see right over here. They take you step by step um, to show you why this is actually a pivotal point and why this is actually going to become very, um, you know, popular and cutting edge. And if you get in right now at the ground uh, before it becomes really, really uh, popular and there's, uh, you know, tens of thousands of GPTs created, um, you can actually go out there and create your own right now because um, here soon, you'll see right down here, GPT store launching very soon. Um, they go over that. So um, OpenAI is going to be launching the GPT store, much like in uh, ChatGPT, if we come over here into plugins, right? So plugins for the last six months or so have been very, uh, very big, right? Um, so we can come over here um, and go into GPT-4. And then maybe I want to go in and look at plugins over here. And then I scroll down, I go into the plugin store. And if I go to um, all right over here, you'll see that there's 131 pages of plugins right over here. So plugins are really great. But the difference between plugins, uh, uh, being able to create, we're talking about creating your own product, right? Um, you you have to hire a, devel uh, hire a developer to create these plugins. Um, unless you have that talent yourself, most people, probably less than 1% of people would be able to go out here and code their own plugin, attach it and do all those server things that you have to do. Um, and uh, let alone the coding of the plugin, and then combine all that together with uh, ChatGPT. Then you've got your plugin code. You got to merge them together. They have to they have to be able to talk to each other and so forth. There's a lot of uh, techie developer stuff going on to just to get one of these plugins uh, launched on the store. So what we're talking about with GPTs, it's like the next version of plugins where you can actually create plugins that still go out and do all kinds of things. They can go live on the internet, they can do research, you can provide it coding, you can provide it connections, provide it data if you wanna go that techie route, but to just to create a simple GPT, you can actually do it very quickly and easily. So if you wanna go and pick this up, they actually show you how. I got this this morning, I went through the training, I went and created, I'm gonna show you my GPT that I just created right now, and you can go and pick this up right here. I believe it's only $17 right here, and you can go and pick it up and you get all this training right here, um, just a ton of training on how to create GBTs, how you can get traffic to your GBTs, how you could um, send people to a free one, but then also um, have an advantage of uh, using that because we can uh, drop our link in there. Um, 
and then we can go and share this. We could give the GPT away for free to a uh, to your audience. But you could also charge for this, right? Because there is a way in here that you can go and actually um, make it to where only people with the li unique link can use it. And so then you can actually right now today sell GPTs as well, which is super cool. So they go over all of that, how to get traffic, how to monetize GPTs, but most importantly, how, uh, why they're important right now and how to actually create them. So they have a really good uh, tutorial how to make your own very own uh, GPT. This was extremely valuable to me because in a condensed 10 minute video, they, um, you know, basically showed me how to create a GPT from scratch. And then, you know, of course, with my experience and so forth, I can take that and really run with it and do a lot of really cool things. So I thought that this training would be great for anybody that's looking for, you know, looking for a business opportunity um, that's uh, maybe confused on this. Um, GPTs I, I was aware of in the last few weeks. And I know that some people have, they just came out just a couple weeks ago. Some people, you know, have taken it and run with it already. Um, but it was one of those things where, you know, I kind of didn't want to get into it because it was a little overwhelming. Um, and I kind of didn't want to go into all that, but it's actually way more simple to create them than I even thought. I'm so glad I picked this up quantum AI link below. Now let's go and um, I'll show you what I just created from scratch. And I created this in about 10 minutes. So I'm going to go over here and I created this one called video trending. So I actually have somebody else in my six figure freedom club group that created this other video, probably like a similar tool. Um, they created this and shared it with the group as well. So that's why you see another one up there. But right here, video trending I'm going to click on it, right? So video trending topics tool. I wanted to call it YT trending topics, but it actually flagged me. So you, for whatever reason, you can't, um, you know, even because I know you can't use brands, right? You can't say YouTube trending topics tool because it's um, that's trademarked. But YT, I didn't know that um, that's um, but that that got flagged, right? You can't use YT because it basically um, stands for YouTube as well. And so they didn't really like that. So I went ahead and just renamed it video trending topics tool right over here it actually created our logo for us it did exactly what i wanted it to do this trend line right here i told it to do that i told it to put a, a play button there so this is unique i created this no one else has created this it even says it pulls your name i think this uh, open ai pulls your name from your account so it actually has my middle initial right there i'd like to kind of change that and just have it first and last name but uh, no, nonetheless it's not a big deal um, but it does have my name right there, right? So I suggest viral YouTube ideas based on your keywords. Now check this out. You could click on these starters right here if you wanted to. But what I'm going to show you is this right here. We're going to go and I'll do a couple of these for you. But right now, let's just say I um, want to go into, uh, we'll do a couple on this. Uh, actually, let's get real. Let's just do something that I, I know of the market. I'm going to type in my broad uh, niche, right? And I'm going to push enter. So the way I designed this, um, the way I designed designed this GPT is uh, it's very specific uh, in what I want it to do. So video trending topics tool affiliate marketing is a popular niche on YouTube with a variety of angles to approach it. Here are 10 video ideas with engaging clickbait titles designed to capture the audience's attention. And so you can see uh, some things going on right here, guys, let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, so we are, we have secrets revealed top 10 affiliate products that earn me 10,000 a month, how I turned my blog into an affiliate cash machine. Um, this little known affiliate strategy tripled my income. So we're getting these uh, topics right over here. And then I tell it to pick the top three that it likes right here. And a lot of times when I use ChatGBT in the be, you know, before this, I would say also pick one out for me too. And it would always just pick the top three, right? So uh, if you think about like a, a robot or AI, right? Um, uh, it might have like different steps where it's going to produce the highest quality content in the beginning. But in this GPT in the back end where I'm instructing it to what, what I want it to do, um, I really go into depth on which one to pick. And you can see right over here, it did not pick them in um, any particular order. It literally grabs all these and it really does uh, tell me which ones it thinks has the most virality uh, potential. So top three picks for highest viral potential. How I turned my blog into an affiliate cash machine. Um, 
And then, uh, you know, it'll give us a little bit of information right here. This title promises a practical, relatable success story and actionable tips. Watch me set up a successful affiliate campaign live. Live demonstrations are engaging and provide real-time value, attracting a wide range of viewers and affiliate marketing on a budget 100 to 1,000 challenge. Challenges are popular on YouTube. So it picked those ones. Um, what really, really cool. Now, it actually did do something. Um, we're going to go test out a couple more because this is the first time I've seen it just directly come out here and just give us the titles. Maybe it got, gets smarter each time it does it. But um we're going to go and check out um, some uh, test it some more because um, I've seen the it will go online and actually search for trends and so forth. But maybe because this um, affiliate marketing has already been done, like I've already used that topic, maybe it's all it's it kind of got smart, if you will. And um, that's why it was able to jump into this right away. But then look at right over here, I've added this and this is um, kind of what they teach you in um, quantum AI, which is super cool. They're going to teach you all these different things that you can do. But in here, um, I added this part right over here, these ideas target different aspects of affiliate marketing. And then right here to learn how to make six figures on YouTube, uh, go here. And I have one of my links right over here. And this is really just for testing right here. Now I will leave um, a link so you guys can go and test this out over here as well. Um, but we have uh, this right over here. If people click on that. So imagine what's going to happen, guys. So I have this webinar right here um, that people can go sign up for. But imagine what's going to happen when um, you're first to market and before they have 100,000 GPTs in the app store, um, they're going to come out soon with a GPT store. And every, um, you know, GPT that you create you'll be able to, you'll be listed publicly in the store. And when people start using the tool for free, they're go, you're going to have the potential of getting free traffic to your offer or link right over here. Okay. So it's really, really powerful. It's really cool. Let's go do a couple more actually. So I'm going to go click over here. I'm going to go to my tool right over here and I'm going to say something like slow. Uh, let's just do, um, I'm going to say, grilling tips. So the way that I uh, created this was that we want it to um, take the seed keyword or the broad keyword, which is grilling tips, and then it's going to uh, create the um, the YouTube titles. And we don't want the titles. I've instructed it also that the titles uh, should not be longer than 70 characters because after 70 characters, that's when on YouTube it gets cut off. The, um, you know, like if you have a, a YouTube video, um, if you have your title longer than 70 characters, it gets cut off and people can't even see the title anyways. So it's really optimal to go with the uh, 70 characters or less route. Okay. So again, we have the video trending topics tool. Grilling is a popular topic, blah, blah, blah. Secrets to grilling perfect steak, grill like a pro, transform. So this is great for starting YouTube channels and going with, um, you know, viral type topics. And then also having great YouTube titles. It's doing all that work for us the top three right here. So grill like a pro five common mistakes and um, ultimate grilling showdown Gasper charcoal world's best marinades. And then right over here, we can say, give me uh, 10 more. And then it's going to go out there and it so it's you're using chat GPT, but you're you're um, already prepping your tool with exactly what it uh, wants to do. It doesn't have to go and do all this thinking. It already has a bunch of instruction in the back end um, that you can go out and then it's going to give us the 10 more, right? And let's go with something really, really specific. So I'm going to say Christmas uh, cookies right here. So we're going to type in Christmas cookies and see what it's going to go with for us right here as well, because Christmas is coming up and so forth. So the great cookie challenge, baking 100 Christmas cookies, blah, 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 all this stuff. So it's going to give us our, um, you know, all of our titles that we want right over here. Uh, vegan Christmas cookies, that's cool. Top three. And it's picking the top three for us right there. So um, really, really cool stuff. All right, so I noticed that through this, although it's still uh, doing a great job, um, just with, uh, you know, I'm brand new to GPTs and we have, you know, you have your list of all these GPTs and so forth. But right over here, uh, if I go to my GPT right over here, um, and then when we put in, like, for example, guys, slow cooker, 
um, it should go out right away and it should actually be researching the internet and that's not working. If I go over here and go to edit GPT, um, this is where you can do all kinds of sort of things. We have our configuration over here. You can see I've instructed it right over here. You must uh, use web browsing functionality to research the niche and so forth. So there's, uh, you know, how I built this GPT. If we scroll down here, you can see we definitely have web browsing and, and images and so forth turned on. Now, if I'm in the playground here and I try slow, uh, slow cooker, you will see that it does uh, right here. This is what's supposed to happen, right? So video trending topics, it is researching the internet right here as we speak. This should turn purple or pink right here. And while it's going out and doing research for us, I have no idea why it is not doing that for me. Maybe I just need to um, come back in a little while or something. But um, certainly in the playground or preview area, the testing um, area of my GPT, it's working fine. But when I go out there to the public area, it's not really doing that. It's just kind of operating like uh, GPT 3.5. So that's something that I'm going to uh, keep my eye on and so forth. If any of you guys are on, uh, know about GPTs, let me know what you think because I have web browsing turned on. It is definitely doing its job right over here in the playground. But then when I go pub, you know, to the public version of it, it is not no longer doing the, and it was doing that um, even before I made the video today. It was doing this sort of thing right here where it goes out and it finds websites using Bard. Uh, it's going to find websites that are, you know, have to do with slow cooker and it's going to go and find some trending topics and so forth. You can see it's still running right over here. It actually visited YouTube as well. And then now right here we're on insanely good recipes. So it's actually taking a little while, probably about five minutes, but it's going to be doing this based on internet research for us. And this is the way that I want my GPT to work. Um, and let's see, like it, we air, it arrowed out. Let me see if I can get this other one um, built that Josh built. And let's just say if I go slow cooker here, he built a similar tool with suggesting. So it's going to do research, searching top 50 YouTube keywords, Hamilton Beach, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's going to go out there and do some research for us. This is how my tool uh, is supposed to be working. Um, and essentially, I just built, I just started doing a GPT like an hour ago, right? So um, YouTube training, slow cooker videos, 2023. So it's doing all this research for us, visiting youtube.com. So this is going out there and doing this, all this work with just putting in a seed, key, seed keyword. So we no longer have to pre-prompt chat GPT with all this information in order to get it done because we um, have built in on the back end, we have a prompt that's going to go out there and do all this for us, which is super cool. And then here it goes. So it actually, um, so the way Josh has his setup is it's going to give us 40 SEO optimized video titles. So here we go. It's doing this based on uh, his GPT right here. Um, and then it's going to give us right here, the above titles are suitable for faceless YouTube channel, uh, fa faceless YouTube videos. And then um, down here, maybe these ones are, the above titles are suitable for uh, faceless YouTube videos as well. So it's going out there, but a lot happened in the background before it came up with these, right? So um, super cool stuff. If you guys want more GPTs uh, content, um, drop, just say GPT, uh, uh, comment GPT below, and I'll make more videos on this. Maybe we'll create some custom GPTs together and so forth. This is really, really fun to see what you can create. Remember, these are all going to be going to a public uh, GPT store that's coming out very soon. You don't want to miss that. So you could create as many GPTs as you want. Make sure that they're high quality. Don't just spam it. Make sure that they're really useful and good and test them out. Uh, this was working really good before I made my video just now. And then uh, all of a sudden it is uh, not working uh, the way that I want it to right now. It's just jumping right into this, but then it's not doing the, you know, spinning and um, the internet thing, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to keep looking at it and so forth. Um, but if you guys want to go and if you want to jump into this and learn what I learned in, um, in less than an hour and start creating your own GPT, I do recommend going and picking up quantum AI from these guys. It's a good product, educational product, but, um, you know, this isn't one of those crap warrior plus products This is actually a product that can help you, um, you know, learn something new and apply that knowledge to something that potentially could may, uh, build you a business or make you money in the future. Okay. So link below. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.